Alright, so we're back in our FPS game project, and what I think I want to do is start making shorter tutorials which focus on more specific things, rather than the previous approach where I covered three to four things per tutorial. And hopefully this will be easier to mix and match the tutorials you actually want to follow in this series. And so in this tutorial, I just want to show you how to have the host be able to start the game and load the actual game. I'm going to start this here by creating a new scene, and I'm just going to call it Game. And in this scene, there doesn't have to be anything right now. It's just going to be there for us to load it in my build settings. I'll add that in so that we can actually load it. Now, if I go to my room menu here, and set it active so we can edit it, I want to add a, probably a start room button somewhere over here. We can just put it on the side for now. It doesn't really matter since we're going to change it later. So I'll put it over here. I can anchor it to the bottom right. And I'll just make this a start room. And in our launcher script, I'm going to open that up in Visual Studio. I'm going to make a new function, public void start game. And in here, I'm going to say photon network dot load level one. Okay, and we want to call photonnetwork.loadlevel instead of Unity scene management because this will allow us to have all the players load the level at once and not just the host or the person who's actually calling this method. So in order for this to apply to all the players in our game, in our unconnected to master here, I'm going to add photonnetwork.automatically sync scene equals true. And photon network dot automatically sync scene determines if we're going to automatically load the scene for all of our clients when the host switches scenes. And that's what we want because we're starting the game. So we just want to switch the scene and we want all other clients to switch the scene too. So back in unity here, I'm going to go to my button and I'm going to assign it launcher dot start game. And so if we were to run this now, Then when I create a room, I can start the game and we'll load into our game scene. Now I don't want this button to be clickable by everyone, I only want the host to be able to start the game. So in our launcher script we're going to need a reference to our button. And in our unjoined room function I'm going to say start game button dot set active photon network dot is master client so if we are the host of our game when we join a room the start game button will be set active if we're not the host it will be set inactive and there's another situation where the host can change and we can become the host and that's because photon has built in host migration which is really nice which means that if the host of the game leaves then another client will automatically be assigned the role of the host and will start hosting the game so we need to account for that here in case the host leaves while we're in the menu we can do public override void on master client switched and then we can just copy this and put this in here too so when the master client switched if we are the master client then we'll set it active if we're not we'll set it inactive now back in unity i need to assign that actual reference here and if i build the game and run the game in unity I create a room here, room test, and I find it here. All right, I'm in the room. You can see that only the host, which is this window, has the start room button and the client does not. And if the host were to leave, then you can see that the new host has the start room button and we're able to start it. And that's it for this episode. It's not the sound.